Well, and the other big question is the Ferrari mirrors. We've got our 3D animation here to talk us through that whole development. <laughs> Carl, over to you on this one. So Ferrari mirrors, I mean, they've been a, a microcosm of development. You could write massive articles about what's happened just with their mirrors. So if we remember at the car's launch, we saw this mirror with the hole in the front and a duct inside to reduce drag and shape the airflow over the side pods in into the side pods. That was quite unique. And then we came to some clarifications just before Baku when the FIA said that you can add the mirrors to the halo if you wanted, uh, but we're very woolly with their uh, explanation. So what Ferrari did, as we've spoken about already at length, yeah. is added the mirror to the halo, but created this winglet that comes over the top that then came down to support the mirror pod. Ferrari said, well, that's a structure, which stopped the mirrors wobbling. <laughs> <laughs> Fooling nobody, which clearly it was an aerodynamic thing, just working further with yeah. what the mirrors are doing and what you're doing with the, the, the fairings around the halo. A couple of other changes at this point as well were quite interesting. Ferrari ran to a twin mirror inside the mirror pod, uh, which uh, Raikkonen ran in his right-hand mirror at Baku to test, and they brought them then to Spain and ran them, just to improve the rearwards visibility. Something we saw, if you remember, with McLaren back in, uh, was that 2003? Mm. They had a triple mirror set up, I seem to remember. It didn't last very long. And also you got these little fins sticking out of the top of the mirror. We thought this was more aerodynamics, but it was, again, the teams looking at the Ferrari saying, well, that area, you can't have uh, clear air between the top of the car and the bottom of the car. You need to fill in all of the little gaps. So they just put these little finlets on the mirrors just to make a, a legality area. Finlet, that's a good word. I, I, I think yeah, I've made that one up I'll as we speak, you, yeah, but yeah. just a little yeah. extension. Yeah. So that's how they ran uh, in Spain. Obviously the FA weren't happy. So now we came to Monaco. Ferrari surprisingly kept the halo mounted mirror, although it does, you know, potentially could have some aero benefits and certainly benefits for the driver viewing below mm. the mirror without the stalk. But they lost the winglet, and uh, you have to argue, I mean, the performance effect is absolutely minimal. But they took and they didn't have on. any additional vibration. And the, the mirrors certainly didn't Amazing. appear to wobble to me. So uh, <laughs> maybe they'd have spent all the time between the races working on the structural oh, yeah, element right. of this. But you know, I mean, I think it was quite straightforward. I think mm. if this clarification hadn't come out, we would have reached this stage at some point by saying that someone's got way too complicated a mirror fitted to the car. And even when we look at the conventional mirrors, people mm. like Red Bull, Force India, even Mercedes, have got quite complicated mirror mounts, far more than you need for the structural needs. It's very much aerodynamic. So they're going to start to nip all this sort of stuff in the bud now.